do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So in today's video tutorial, we're gonna be revisiting a topic that I did a couple years ago, and it's related to OPL Manager, and at the time this video recording is version 22.3, and I thought it'd be nice to do a quick refresher because I was reading some YouTube comments and some people thought the program was difficult to use or whatever, and so I thought, hey, in the final days of 2023, let's go ahead and do a refresher and show people how this program works one more time. And it's pretty easy to use, at least in my point of view it is. And we're gonna be showcasing the USB method today, Although you can use this program for PS2 ISOs that are stored on your computer hard drive for SMB sharing or your PS2 hard drive that's connected to your PC and scrape the arc that way. So basically you go to this website, I have a link in the video description, download the latest version. At the time of this video recording, it is uh, version 22.3. So download it and go ahead and extract it to its own folder, which I've done already. And then for today's purposes, I have a thumb drive, eight gigabytes, and my art folder, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it for video purposes. And then I have my test game under the DVD folder, which is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Okay. So let's go ahead and run OPL Manager. When you run it for the first time, it's gonna ask you, okay, your language, okay. And then um, check for updates, all right, fine. And then it's gonna ask you, where is your folder path for all your PS2 ISO content? In this particular case, I am doing the normal mode and then I'm gonna go ahead and click to browse and then go ahead to my thumb drive, say okay, save. It's gonna say, hey, there's no art folder or whatever, so let's go ahead and say okay. It's gonna make it, yes. It saw it has one invalid file because I deliberately renamed the file in a structure that OPL doesn't know about, so it's gonna fix it for me. So what we're gonna do here is you can get the title from DB, which is pretty cool but the name is way too long, right? So what I'm gonna do, I was gonna say Marvel vs. Capcom 2, update file name, and yes, it likes it, cool. Now, there's some filters here, so if you have other programs on your thumb drive, it might detect them, so I'm gonna go ahead and just say, hey, I just wanna see the PS2 stuff only. Okay, cool. And then the easy button is, let's pretend you have a whole bunch of games here, a whole bunch of ISO games or whatever. Then what you do is just go to batch, actions, art download, Check what you need. Check, 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 check. Start. And then it's gonna start scraping the art and save it to the art folder. And now we're good to go, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I can shut down the program. My game file is named properly. We can double check that here in a second. So let's go to the thumb drive. See, it renamed it with the slus underscore 204.86.marvel vs. Capcom 2. And then it also made art folder. All right. So what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead, eject my USB. Okay, and then I'm, I'm gonna real quick connect it to my PS2 over here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is um, let's turn on Ob Studio. It's just a little bit easier for me to showcase my PS2 today. And um, I turn off the audio, just to make it a little bit easier for recording purposes on my end. So let's go ahead and go full screen mode. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to my Standard OPL 110. And you wanna make sure ahead of time that you have your display art settings configured. So if I press like, you know, start here, go to display settings, I already had, you know, automatic uh, refresh is on. Okay, but basically cover art is what you want. So I have that on. Anything else you can follow my screen if you wish, but basically cover art, you gotta have it on. And it sort of depends on your build of OPL, right? So there's different builds of OPL out there. So some versions might show, for example, or the themes too, like it might show this, uh, like a screenshot of the game in the background. In this particular example, I don't have that. It just shows basically the, the box art and the disc, and that's pretty much it, right? So you can get a little bit fancy if you wish, depending on your theme. And then that's pretty much it, right? So if I had another game, then it'll show a different cover art for that particular game. And that's how that works. And I could go ahead and run the game. But uh, yeah, so in a nutshell, that is how you get cover art for your PS2 games using OPL Manager. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.